of the skin cancers. Uh, when found early on the skin, it can be cut out and, and cured, but when found later, when it's a little thicker, it can spread to almost any part of the body, and that's why it's uh, so deadly. Uh, once it uh, does metastasize, the median survival is less than a year, and current chemotherapies are uh, not that effective. So we uh, sorely need uh, new approaches to treat um, melanoma. It uh, affects people of all ages. Many younger people get it. It's actually second only to leukemia in terms of loss of years of life because so many uh, young moms and young people uh, get melanoma. Uh, the, um, so in, in the past, what we've um, uh, tried to do uh, in the uh, cancer immunology field is to, is to attack tumors using one agent at a time. And I think we're learning now that we can't do that, that we're going to have to really start to combine uh, agents together uh, for effective uh, therapy. So our approach, let's see if I can get the mouse to work. Here we go. Uh, our approach is, is to combine vaccines with interleukin-2 uh, to get immune cells to attack the tumor. If you think of the immune cells as the soldiers that can actually contact uh, tumor cells to kill them, all of our immune approaches are to get these, uh, they're called killer T cells, to be activated and proliferate. Uh, so the vaccine uh, is capable of taking these soldiers through boot camp. It initiates the training of the soldiers and the interleukin-2, uh, which is a natural protein produced by the body's immune system, then allows the proliferation, the multiplication of these soldiers into a large army that can then uh, attack the tumors uh, to kill them. And there's a lot of basic science that's been done by a number of labs, including Nicholas Restifo at the National Cancer Institute and Willem Overwick, that shows that the, this approach of combining uh, uh, therapies in a rational way, vaccines plus interleukin-2, are better in murine models. So a number of years ago, there was a, a phase two trial done at the National Cancer Institute in Steven Rosenberg's group, where uh, Dr. Schwarzenegger and, and I used to work, uh, just using the combination of interleukin-2 plus a vaccine, the GP100 vaccine, and it showed a, a fairly high response rate when we combined those two agents. Uh, but you have to be cautious, as you know, to, when you look at phase two uh, uh, trials because there's no um, uh, control arm. And so really to fully evaluate it, you have to uh, uh, do a randomized study, and that's what this it was. Uh, so we embarked on a randomized study with, using, uh, with many centers throughout the country uh, to treat with a standard agent, high-dose interleukin-2, which can have dramatic effects on, in some patients, but a, a small percentage of patients. And so we clearly have to improve upon that. So we compared, uh, we took patients with metastatic melanoma and gave them either high-dose interleukin-2 or interleukin-2 uh, plus the vaccine. And the primary endpoint was the clinical response or how much the tumor would shrink. Now, 185 patients were randomized to this, and uh, the response rate was almost doubled uh, in the patients who got the interleukin-2 plus the vaccine at 22.1% compared to 9% of patients with tumor shrinkage uh, with the interleukin-2 by itself. In addition, the progression-free survival was enhanced in patients receiving the interleukin-2 uh, plus the vaccine uh, of 2.9 months compared to 1.6 months, and that was statistically different. That's um, how long the patients had until the tumor started growing. And if you look at overall survival, uh, it did look better. The group with interleukin-2 plus vaccine compared to interleukin-2 alone uh, the, uh, is not statistically significant by our current criteria, but there does look to be a trend, and we'll have to continue to follow these patients out longer to see if there is an um, overall uh, survival difference. So in conclusions and plans, uh, I think we found that the GP100 vaccine enhances the clinical activity of interleukin-2 in patients with metastatic melanoma. I think along with the um, uh, lymphoma vaccine that you just heard about, it's amongst the first trials to show that uh, cancer vaccines uh, can be effective in patients uh, and that uh, stimulating the body's immune response is going to be an important way, uh, an important tool for us uh, in, in future cancer therapies. And I think we've also found that we have to use rational combinations of vaccines with other agents that stimulate the immune system, such as IL-2, uh, that that's promising and that we have to use these combinations if we're going to get these vaccines uh, to work. And now there, uh, this trial was initiated over seven years ago, and now there are a number of agents that are, you're probably seeing posters around that, that are uh, immunologically active that we could possibly combine uh, to these to improve these therapies yet further. Uh, we're happy that the response rate went from 9.7 to 22.1. 
1%, but that still means 78% of patients did not respond. So we still have to do much better than that, and I think we can. Uh, there are a lot of exciting new agents, such as anti-CTLA-4, that takes the brakes off of the immune system and other, other uh, uh, molecules that we can now combine to hopefully make this even better. All right, thanks.